everyone, we are going to continue this journey learning about quantum mechanics. Have you ever wondered or asked yourself why do neon lights actually work? Or how do fireworks produce that colorful light? Well, buckle up now because we are about to go on a journey to understand why this occurs. Atomic spectroscopy is the study of electromagnetic radiation that is absorbed and emitted by atoms. Atoms can absorb energy in the form of heat, light, or electricity, and can re-emit that energy as light. Now in the case of neon lights, those glass tubes are actually filled with neon gas. And when an electric current is passed through the tube, the atoms absorb that energy. Eventually, these atoms will, will release this energy in the form of light. Well, you must be thinking at this point, why are the neon signs sometimes different colors? Well, this is due to the fact that the different elements emit their own unique emission spectrum. The light that is emitted can be separated into constituent wavelengths by passing it through a prism. Once the wavelengths have been separated, the result looks like a series of colored lines called an emission spectrum, or a line spectrum. This brings us back to quantum mechanics which was able to explain these spectrums when classical physics could not. As you can notice, these spectrums are not continuous, like in the case of white light. Instead, there are black lines at specific wavelengths and darkness in between. Swedish mathematician Johannes Rydberg began to analyze emission spectrums and develop an equation for the hydrogen atom. However, this equation did not explain what was actually happening. It wasn't until 1913 when Niels Bohr used quantum mechanics to describe atomic spectra. Bohr began constructing a model for the atom in order to, to describe what was happening. Bohr's atomic model consisted of electrons orbiting around the nucleus similar to that of planetary orbits. In Bohr's model, the orbits were called stationary states, or also known as energy levels, and are at a fixed distance from the nucleus. An electron in a stationary state does not emit radiation. Radiation is emitted or absorbed only when electrons transition between orbits. Electrons absorb energy and are promoted, also known as excited, to a higher stationary state. At some point, the electron will relax back down to a, low, to a lower orbit and will release this energy as a photon of light. These transitions explain the spectral lines in the emission spectrum of an atom. The following equation can be used to determine the energy that is emitted from an atom, where n is the energy level at which the electron is at, and Rh is the Rydberg's constant for hydrogen, which is equal to 2.18 times 10 to the negative 18th joules. At this point, it is important to note that the energy that is calculated can be used to find the wavelength of light by using the equation we learned last lesson where energy was equal to Planck's constant times frequency. So now that we know about these different transitions within an atom, we are now prepared to understand how fireworks get their color. Fireworks typically contain metals such as sodium, calcium, barium, and copper, when these metals are heated, the metal atoms will absorb this energy, exciting the electron to a higher state. As the electron begins to relax back down to a, low, to a lower state, it emits light specific to that metal. I hope you found today's lesson to be insightful, and you also enjoyed the little history that we gave behind everything. Thank you. Thank you.